So franchise private equity giant makes a bold move to buy Subway for nearly $10 billion. So in today's video, we're gonna go through, is Subway poised for a resurgent on the global culinary stage? And a resounding affirmation of the sandwich giant's potential, Roar Capital, huge private equity firm renowned in the franchising space, especially for restaurants, including Inspire Brands, Focus Brands, own big brands like Dunkin' Donuts, Cinnabons. It has emerged victorious against other private equity giants in an intense eight month auction process to acquire Subway. So before we go into the details of this deal and why it's so important for the restaurant business as well as franchising space, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can always stay updated on our thrilling new videos. Now let's dive in detail by detail on this deal. As much as we have, the deal is one of the largest and most complex restaurant acquisitions ever. The Atlanta based private equity firm emerges the winner after an eight month process featuring some of the largest investment companies as well as consortiums to buy the Subway franchise. Work is set to pay $9.6 billion reported by the Wall Street Journal earlier this week. That would make it the third largest restaurant deal of all time. Work was involved in the second largest deal when it and Inspire Brands acquired Dunkin', formerly known as Dunkin' Donuts, back in 2020 for $11.3 billion. Two other deals for Buffalo Wild Wings and Sonic are among the biggest industry deals of all time. Subway has had a checkered past. We've reviewed that on prior videos. Once the largest restaurant chain by unit count has struggled to follow since the death of their co-founder and longtime CEO Fred DeLuca back in 2015. More than 6,000 U.S. restaurants have closed in the year since Fred DeLuca's passing. And the chain also closed international locations as franchisees struggled with weak sales as well as weak profitability. They're not making much. While the chain has 37,000 global locations, including more than 20,000 in the U.S., it lost its status as the biggest restaurant chain in the world to guess who put franchising on the map, especially for restaurants, McDonald's. Work is making a bet that those difficult times of the past are behind them and the chain can regain its strength, particularly in international markets where they've inked big deals in, in places like China. The CEO, John Chidsey, has inked several noble developments over the past two years, and it looks like they continue on. As well, they've generated 10 straight quarters of positive same-store sales growth in the US as its average unit volume reached their highest level in the last decade. Decade. Again, note, I said in the last decade, 10 years ago, not even adjusting for inflation, they had higher sales for Subway. So still a lot ahead of them to, to pass their prime in terms of adjusted for inflation dollar terms. The company has overhauled its menu multiple times. However, they've still closed 571 US locations in 2022. Franchisees have complained. There were a lot of complaints to the FTC during their comment period for seeking feedback on the franchise rule. A lot of Subway franchisees spoke out about issues across the brand. Also, I don't know how work capital is gonna manage. They already have Jimmy John's, a really large sandwich brand. So that will be interesting to follow. We've reported on some brands that have done extremely well under work capital, including Wingstop, which IPO'd and the stock soared, as well as some brands that have had a, a hard time under the Roar Capital infrastructure, including Massage Envy, where the franchisor earns a lot in terms of, of earnings, EBITDA. But we've had interviews with franchisees, including on this channel at Vetted Biz, where Massage Envy was just a nightmare for this couple in California that had two Massage Envies. Take a look at that video. Roar has had an amazing job with some franchise brands, but there have been ones and franchisees in their system, which is to be expected with thousands of franchisees under their different franchise franchise brands that have had expressed some serious qualms. Subway CEO John Chidze believes the brand's growth potential under works ownership is expected to continue to grow, has huge potential. We'll see if that stays true. I'm, I'm cheering for Subway. Everyone wants to see a, a good comeback story. Stay tuned as we continue to report on Subway, Jersey Mike's, Fry Isle Subs, and other franchises in the sandwich space across all different types of industries as well on vettedbiz.com.